What's going on with you? I'm having a review on Transformer Toy. Isn't that what you normally do? I don't see the issue- OH DAMN HOMIE! Did you know that we almost didn't have this character? Barricade taking the name of a Micromaster was originally thought to be Prowl, but with Bumblebee needing a nemesis, Barricade was formed. Honestly, it's probably for the best, because this menacing monster became an icon for the film. Now if only he could pick a voice actor, because in The Last night he was also Frank Walker. Barricade is famous for being one of the first Cybertronian characters to be seen, well, hardly seen, but seen anyways in combat with another. He's also remembered for being an escape artist, as he always seems to disappear in a film. Either way, it's always exciting to see this beast pop up, even as mentioned. Barricade transforms into a modified Ford Salon Mustang police car. Keeping in touch with a lot of the original cues Barricade became known for implemented into this very intimidating vehicle. Certain nods for nerds to geek out include the 643 police label that's actually lined up this time, the large police logo centered in the door, badge that strangely enough has an outlined Decepticon logo rather than the solid silver, 911, and the classic to punish and insult. I love how this car looks, especially with the bumper. The attachment looks like a snarling face about to growl at me. The black color is so perfect and the white doors add a splash of something. He's even got a painted light bar and visible hands that'll scratch you if you get arrested. Little dab of silver in the front, but the back lights are painted just above a nicely molded salon logo. Rolls pretty well if you get everything right, but in your hand it feels so small. And I thought the Dark Moon figure was tiny. He doesn't carry those armatures that extend, but you could take the spinning blades and slide the peg underneath. No clearance issues, but it just looks so ridiculous. I'll give it credit, this would probably scare the crap out of me. Glasses! I collect glasses! Give me glasses! We'll get more on this in robot mode. Man, it's just strange. He feels like he's missing something. Oh yeah, Frenzy! Would be a nice addition to the set and would help finish off the first movie crew, but no, probably too small for them to do, right, wheelie and brains? I guess in hand, it doesn't feel like you get your values worth. He's long, but he's incredibly small. I don't take issue with scale so much in alt mode if the robot mode does a good enough job, but still, I like what I see here. Robot... No. No, no! Hold up! Nightmares are coming back! I almost didn't do this review. I was debating whether or not to do this. Why? Because Barricade is what I consider a failure. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. The modes can be decent, good, or even bad for all I care. But the one function you have to make decent isn't fun whatsoever. The reason I hate it. The reason why I despise it. The reason I almost didn't do this. The reason I call this a failure. The transformation sucks ass! It's too small for it to function properly. The arms are hard to get in. The hood and top canopy swing around, hitting each other with a clear joint that could crack at any moment. Clearance issues. The back end needs to lock in properly. And the windows. Screw these windows! They're constantly, constantly collapsing into the toy. You need to open everything back up just to move them back. If that's not hard enough, they're on a friction joint and disconnect easily. Nothing about this is fun. It's too small for this engineering. Bad toys, bad toys. What you gonna do? Scream and rage. Look, I know the masterpiece isn't graceful either, but at least it understands the size allows room for this engineering to work properly. This is why Studio Series Barricade fails. It's not fun. It's not good. I'm going insane. I want to cook the webbing of my toes just to forget. Okay, well, at least it's better transforming it in reverse. Robot mode. <laughs> robot mode leaves more to be desired. Going back to the size, there's something about him that looks a little more spindly than normal. I mean, he's not really hulking, but now he looks like he's made out of sticks and clay. I hope you guys appreciate this review because this was not enjoyable to transform. Not because of the issues I mentioned before, not because the clear plastic could crack, 
but with all the clear plastic you have to move around, I'm pretty sure you can see my fingerprints all over. Some of the good things, I like how the chest adjusts to give them a different angle. I like how the arms shift up, beefing it up with the classic doors on the side. I like the fake window wings, giving it more crooked look. The hands opening up is cool, and the intended detail looks nice for the most part. Now the issues. Sit back and get your bag of milky popcorn, because what happened to this man's knees? It's like a dog shredded them up to the bone, and he's like, my knees feel numb. Straight, they look thin and weird, but using the double joint, you could tilt it back, but... Eh, not sure about that one, sport. Another issue is the backpack that can adjust, but either way, you're getting the same outcome. I'm serious, it looks like a legitimate backpack. But it's not only that I find frustrating, or the back of the legs that don't tap in, so when you move the foot, it just falls out. Those I find annoying, but what really gets me is that there's almost no paint anywhere. Why? There's so much they could do. Some purple or metallic blue on the knees, silver, gold, anything. At least he doesn't have the weird white. Oh wait, the top of the feet have silver. I guess everything is solved. Ugh, I want to like him, but he makes it so hard. The face at least looks amazing. I can't tell if that's because of the mold or the fact they actually bothered to paint the thing like Ironhide. Gold, silver, metallic blue, and red all bring out the face really well without any of the colors overtaking the dark, scary energy. Did someone say articulation? Ball jointed head, ball joint shoulders, rotation below, elbow bend, wrist, thumb, ball joint hips, double knees, and foot. He may not have every joint you'd expect, but honestly, they do pretty decently. That is, if the ball joints and the shoulders don't get loose, hey, at least they got the elbows right, unlike the masterpiece. You know, I love this thing that maybe I'm not making a fair comparison, so let's try and remove it from the equation. Let's take a look at the accessories. He comes with the classic spinning mace weapon. The blade itself is rubber, but pretty wide, making a strong presence. Just close the hand, plug it in, and... Yeah, the masterpiece is coming back in. Can they not get it right? In the masterpiece, at least they try to incorporate it in, but I feel like there's an easier way to do this. And then Studio Series just plugs it in, doesn't even try, just here it is. Spins well, but it just looks so awkward. It's like he's playing with a roleplay toy. I think you're supposed to roll it on Play-Doh and make a pattern. He's still small, but considering the size of Bumblebee, which I need to get, he actually fits in pretty well. And with all the issues, the reason why I don't dump him for the Dark of the Moon toy is that he fits in with all the other Studio Series figures very well and helps complete the cast if there's only a frenzy. This is why I like Studio Series. You put the first movie Ironhide mold with the last night Optimus Prime and they just do not fit. With Studio Series, all the characters are consistent and they all work together. So when I throw in Barricade, I often forget the issues and I'm just glad to have this character display with all the others. Just keep him away from wrong. He wants those glasses so bad. He's got many eyes, he needs them. So if you're not getting it to work along other Studio Series figures, or if you have a Barricade already, you don't need it. I think I warm up to any of the modes, but as a transforming figure, I can't stand it. The figure shouldn't be this hard to mess with. It takes away from the point of it. At least we got an alright figure. I'd say you don't need to pay scalpers, but if this is the barricade you're looking for, I can't stop you. Just take note that you're getting into a mess of a toy. I think he's just here to take on eBay scalpers. <laughs>